Hi, my name is Sandra Banks Adam, and I'm going to read my book, You, for Barnes & Noble Storytime. So here we go. You. Life is a big adventure just waiting for you. Give it all you've got. There's nothing you can't do. Never stop exploring, because life would be boring. Be clever and curious, just like a cat. Ask lots of questions about this and that. Look at life from different points of view. Turn things upside down if it suits you. Wake up in the morning and holler hip hip hooray. Every day is inviting you to smile, shine, and play. Climb great tall mountains and reach for the sky. You might fall down, but then you will fly. Remember, you can be anything you really want to be, like a pilot, a poet, or someone who lives in a tree. Try not to say words like, I can't, I won't, and I should. Instead, think, I can, I will, I did, and I'm good. Don't be afraid to make a mistake or two. It might lead you to discover something new. Dream big and remember to follow your heart. Believe in yourself because you're really so smart. When you grow up and do all that you do, the most important thing is just to be you. The end. Hi, I'm Sandra McSamon, and I'm the author of the book, You. I know things have changed a lot over the past few weeks. You're not at school, you're probably at home doing your homework and hanging out with your family. But you know, even though things have changed so much, there's still a lot that you can do to make a difference in the world and to connect with your community and your family and friends. So we have a bunch of ideas for you. Um, our friends at Sourcebooks have created a wonderful activity kit based off of the book You. There's six different pages filled with really fun activities, including writing ideas about what you want to do when you grow up, um, a fun maze to help you navigate from here to reaching your dreams, um, wonderful places for you to draw and create, and a word search, and a great coloring page. So you can have lots of fun maybe with your brothers or sisters or your family creating these activities and drawing and thinking about ways that you can be totally and completely you. Another activity that we love that we find to be very meaningful and I love to share it with kids is you can create all kinds of hearts out of whatever materials you have at home. You can color, you can paint, you can cut pieces of paper, any size heart at all. And then go ahead and put a piece of string on them or ribbon or whatever you have. There's no right or wrong, just what you think is beautiful. And hang them on your windows or your front door. And when the UPS man comes or the post office man or the FedEx guy or even a neighbor walking by your street sees your front door, they're gonna get a big lift in their heart and they're gonna know that you're thinking about them. So put some hearts on the window and send out lots of love.